Hi, it's Barb. I'm back. I am trying to slap on a face because I have to meet my husband today after work to attend a going away final, um, like cocktails, drinks, dinner, apps, whatever the heck they're doing. Instead of doing lunch, they're doing something after work. So I get to go because I know the girl. Not very, very well, but I know her through the folks at work. So I'm going to try and slap on something. I'm going to try out my new double wear, both the foundation and the concealer, because I will be wearing a mask. Today was hair wash day, as you can tell. All my little curls are kind of hanging out. And the palette I'm going to try and use, because again, getting to be a creature of habit, I'm going to try and use the warm tones in my Carity Picante, which... In case you've not seen this in your Facebook feed or anything, these are some gorgeous shades. And I'm going to try and stick more to the golds than the pinks because reasons. So let's get going because I am burning daylight here. And um, I am notoriously a person who takes for freaking ever to get stuff done. Thank you for watching my channel. This is the B-Rex PR Goddess One channel. If you are interested in seeing when I post, um, I suggest that you subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell because I do not have a set schedule. So let's begin. I already have my skincare on. I did uh, the eye gels today. And if I look a little ashy, it's because I'm wearing my CeraVe, um, whatchamacallit, sunscreen which zinc. I mixed it with the face cream for today and it didn't like to mix. So yeah, so I'm going to use that as my sticky base because reasons. I just took a quick walk over through my little display of primers and I'm going to actually try and blend a little bit of my HD primer that has sunscreen in it um, just to try and blend out the pale color on my, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit right there that pale white ashiness that sometimes you get when you use um, mineral sunscreens. I'm just going to start here because this is obviously going to be the most visible area with a mask. Try and get it around the hairline. As you can tell, this um, foundation, I'm sorry, this primer from Black Radiance has a visitant to it, so a little bit of a skin tone. See, and I was going to actually use my CC cream with vitamin C that also happens to have uh, a skin tone to it, the universal tint, because it is a zinc oxide and titanium dioxide blend. But I was like, no, you're doing day cream already. It might be a little much. Put a little bit more on. But now I'm thinking maybe I actually needed that instead. And then I wouldn't have had to do this step. But whatever. You live and you learn. As you can tell, the acne is still there healing. I'm using my niacinamide and zinc from uh, serum during the day from um, The Ordinary. It works really well on fresh stuff because it's faded this one and that little guy and it's working on this guy and this guy and this huge cystic mess. I've been putting tea tree oil on and retinol at night and all that good stuff and you know we just gotta be patient. Hashtag stress, hashtag hormonal, body changes, whatever. You get the idea. So yeah. Okay, so now that's on. I do not have any more of my final seal. I used to have the Ben Nye final seal, you know, like how Jackie Aina, Aina said. But let's see. I am wearing the shade 3W2, which is cashew. I'm going to use one of my paddle style foundation brushes. This is not a fancy expensive artiste one because I do not have that kind of money. This is part of a set of 10 brushes from um, Amazon. Wait, do I need to shake this crap before I use it? I, should, I could want to read. Uh, it doesn't say anything about shaking it. Well, can't hurt. I don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. But yeah. So I have a whole slew of little paddle brushes. Let's uh, get a good slew of this on. I got a little tiny bit. Hopefully this is enough. We'll see. Start in the middle. And because I'm using a paddle style brush, I will be buffing. I know normally if I use a different style brush, I tap. But this time I really want to get it into the skin. Because again, masks. Put a little bit more on. 
because it really wasn't all that much on the brush. I'm taking the bare minimum because the less there is on your brush, the less you will rub off on your mask. The Zen of makeup. I think this shade is working really well. But here's going to be the real test. One last little dab. I mean, there's really so very little. I'm going to tap it. Yeah, this looks just like my skin. Which is what foundation is supposed to do. Look like your skin. I mean, look. Try not to look at this thing, but you see, I mean, it doesn't look like I have a big demarcation line. I am trying to blend in the ring light using my phone camera that I'm... Okay, there we go. Music mirror as well for a better idea. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this. I'm not really feeling that day cream I was testing. It's a sample I got from, I think, one of my Ipsy bags. It's Primera Alpine Berry Water Cream. I think it's rather thick. I don't think it's made for my kind of skin. I might end up using it on my hands and cuticles. We shall see. But there we go. That's that. And because my eyes, you know, I think they don't really need the extra help, but I'm going to try it. Because it's been a hot second since I've ever gotten any sleep. Because, you know, we're living election day six times over in the U.S. What else? Okay, so I put a little bit of my almost empty Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I do love it. And so, yeah. And as usual, I'm going to use a fluffy style concealer brush. This is, again, my magnetic concealer brush from Sephora Collection. I'm just going to tap that in because I love to stipple. I think I get a better coverage when I stipple, but, you know each their own all right now let's try the double wear concealer i assume this has a doe foot applicator i think it's kind of cool that it sat long enough to settle like that i don't know i kind of like that that's just me i'm weird okay just two there i don't really think i need any others and then let me put a little bit there on these little dots And now let's try and get that blended out. Let's start with the under eye. But I really think, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with how well I shade matched online. Somebody, you know, I don't often toot my own horn, but the few things I do that are tootable, toot, toot, mofos. Yeah. Let's get that tooting going on. Look at that. And, you know, just diffusing. Not trying to reinvent the wheel here. But that's why I like such a fluffy brush. You see, you really... And I swear, this weekend I'm going to try and shift out the clothes and try and find that frickin' tapestry to close that closet. Because I'm really out of other ideas. So there. There we go. Now, because I'm pow I'm wet... The next thing I need to do is powder. So I've got my yellow powder. This time I found my yellow HD Pro powder from LA Girl. Again, banana powder. And then for regular skin tone slash translucent, I'm going to use my Black Up um, Poudre Libre anti brilliance which is anti-shine powder. This is from Sephora. This is from Ulta. I don't play favorites. Basically... I will not lie. I am what I consider very liberal with my love. If you treat me well and you give me, and this is just a big old fluffy brush from a set I got on um, eBay for like, I don't know, four bucks. You know, one of those. Oh, shit. Hold on. Pardon me. Whoa, whoa. I'm wearing black today because it goes with everything. I have my black camisole on. I'd like to keep it black. So let me put on my makeup cape. I still have to actually remember to stop and wash it when I do darks because I have all my friggin' um, charcoal style setting spray on it. No matter how well I mix it, I always get dots on my clothes, but whatever. Okay, so I've got some of the banana powder. I'm just gonna fluff. And I'm gonna honestly put the banana powder everywhere because I have enough of a yellow undertone, so I cheat like that. I'm gonna start with the banana and then I'm gonna go ahead and move out to 
the regular powder because reasons. You don't have to do the same way. You can do you. If you have pink undertones, they have from Ben Nye a um, powder that's more pink. I think it's called the Cameo or something. And it's kind of like the same thing as banana powder. And it's supposed to work for people with more pinkish undertones. So I don't want to assume everybody in the world has a yellow undertone or a neutral undertone and can get away with the banana powder. But if you need something different, check that out. And I would say, if you want a reputable place to buy it, um, go to a beauty supply place like Camera Ready Cosmetics, um, Nigel Beauty Emporium. Those are just the first two that come to my mind. Because obviously, they don't carry this brand at um, Sephora or Ulta, although I wish they did. And then as you can see, I'm kind of using this fluffy brush probably shouldn't be doing it but I am in lieu of the puff that came with it I don't know why it's just I'm I haven't used a puff since I was like I want to say in high school probably should because it'll probably still be neater and this is why we cover ourselves when we do makeup and I mean I can't recommend this as enough this is a camera ready cosmetics cape it has a velcro and a tie in the back so you could use either one I'm going to start using the puff. Screw it. And um, honestly, it was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Free shipping. Because I can get in closer with the eye. Check that out. And I'm not trying to cake face it. But uh, I do want to prevent transfer. And I'm going to be very liberal with the whole getting this the heck off me. Because don't you know right now I look like a pale face zombie. Ugh, I'm just using all the powder in the lid. I know I must look bizarre. That's fine. Put it directly over the spots that need the most help. Let's get this puppy up in here. See, I have big and fluffy because I literally will beat the hell out of myself. If you've heard of the flagellants from the times in the Middle Ages after the dark, the Black Plague hit Europe, that they would walk around beating themselves to atone for the sins of the world to hopefully end the plague. I am a makeup flagellant. The difference is I know damn well this will not end our current plague anytime soon. But it makes me feel better and deal with plague. So, there you go. So that's what we have to say about this pro powder, high def. Now, because it's a high def powder, you know it's going to be more of a silica based. So, it may give you flashback in photos. Guess what? If there's any photos taken tonight, I'm not actually all that uh, worried about it. Just because, dun dun dun, it's not my going away. All right, not that I mean to be like rude like that, but like in the time of COVID, who cares? Okay, so I took the lid off and it has this lovely little attached, I guess, sifter protector. So I'm gonna take some of this human colored powder, which really doesn't look all that different than the other one, but whatever. And I'm going to try and stamp it on using one of my flocked, aka like the Juno style. Um, this is Real Technique sponge. I'm just going to stamp that right on in. I know I must seem excessive with the powder, but I really, really don't want it going anywhere. Call me nuts. And I'm oily usually, so I think I really have to worry. Yeah, let's screw it. If you're going to stay, you're going to work. That's why I have boobs, right? I know this must seem like really bizarre and unethical or whatever, but it's just wasted product because it just fell. So if it's going to fall on my boobs, I'm going to pick it up off my dirt, my uh, makeup cape and just put it right the hell back on my face because, again, reasons. Really trying to get around my nose because it just feels really oily today. Maybe it's hormonal. I'm avoiding this because I usually just end my makeup at my jawline, which is the way they taught you to do it back in the Stone Age when I rode brontosaurus to school. Um, but I also want this to just have nothing but the acne medicine that I have on it sit on it so it can like soak up and do all its goodness. Theoretically. You get the idea. So yeah. Round two.
I'm not too concerned about what's around the eyes right now because we need to go on and do our eyes. So let's start now, shall we? So today's eye um, primer will be my Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later. Today's lashes will be these from Sonia Kashuk. There's no like actual style name on them or anything. So I don't even know if they sell these anymore. I've worn these a bunch of times, but you get the idea. I'm going to try and use those with my black brush on House of Lashes, Sephora Collection Lash Glue. For lips, I'm just going to show you everything I'm going to do because I might fade in and out. For lips, I'm going to use my Superstay Ink in shade 70, which is Amazonian because it's neutral, but it skews a little warm. And I'm going to pair it with my lip liner from Pure, which is called, let's see, on point lip liner and the shade is low key it's one of those stealth sharpening ones see so it's kind of a, a slightly warm but yet still a little on the rosy side nude my brow gel because that's all i'm going to do is just brush through them i'm going to use my gimme brow in shade five to kill it i'm going to try and use my black magic uh ico liner if it starts to get all effed up i might supplement it with my milani we'll see I'm trying to kill them both and then for mascara, if it works, I'm going to try and use both these mascaras from Ulta. The New Heights Lifting Mascara is relatively new and it's nice and wet. But this Bold Ambition, when I bought it, it was dry. I just, for two bucks, I wasn't going to really complain too much. It was on clearance. But it has a nice curved brush, kind of like one of the Maybelline ones with the little spikes. And the one from the New Heights is very reminiscent. If you get Ipsy and you've seen Real Her, they have a mascara that's the same. Tiny little spikes, conical shape. I figured together I can get them to work well. One coat each, then the lashes. So let's begin. I'm going to do one eye and then I'll come back after and show you when I put on my lashes. There we go. And because we've learned last time how if you haven't touched the primer in a little while, maybe you kind of sort of want to squirt it on your finger so you don't wind up with it in your eyeball. I'm squirting a little bit and I'm going to move it around and while it skews a little pale it is more of a nude it's not quite as i don't know whitening as the anastasia beverly hills primer but it's also not as nude as some of the other ones i've had so it's it's in that middle range and i just know i enjoy wearing it everything is pilling up because of that freaking face cream that i had all over because i just did this and then pressed so yeah anyway besides the point okay i'm also going to try and utilize some of my brand new bs cosmetics mall from amazon remember these brushes i have put them up on another thing but i have a bunch of brushes from them i'm going to try and use them let's start with a pencil brush and a grease brush so because i have i want to put something here for my crease and i want it to be a little bit wider for the transition i'm going to start with shade dune which is this mustardy looking shade for my transition shade because i feel that that just looks fun i'm gonna dot it and then i'm gonna windshield wiper it and as you can tell it looks kind of nice i like that shade it's on the warm side I was feeling it. And I like this palette because it gives you both mattes and shimmers. I'm not going to say foiled or metallics because I really think in the end that really matters. You can make a shimmer more of a metallic if you foil it right with the right liquid. But that's just my opinion. So I'm going to take the pencil brush. I'm going to take a shade that's a bit deeper. Oh, maybe I'll go a lot deeper. I'm going to go with bitter. No, dish, which is like a brown chocolatey brown with a little orange in it right there i think that'll work really well and i'm going to concentrate it again get that little bit of balled up cream off my face see you know that's the thing people sit here and think oh my god you don't have any failures everything came out looking nice i do this this way i really don't need a second dip but i just felt like it to show you that i am a normal human i get acne I have failures. I have to work around things on the fly. So don't be discouraged if you feel like, oh my God, I can't do makeup. It never comes out the way I want. Things get screwed up midway. It's called adaptability. 
adapt or die. Isn't that the thing that nature t basically teaches us with evolution? Survival of the fittest. Thank you, Darwin. Okay, so I've done the pencil brush here to really get some deeper color in that crease. I'm going to take what's left on this dune and just kind of blend out those edges. Now, what do we got here? Look at all these lovely brushes. Okay, I have one of the flatter and wide shadow brushes, and I'm going to try dipping it in the shade. Do you want to go bobby or pimento? I want something with shimmer. I'm going to go with the shade Morning, which is this nice bright gold in the upper corner. See? I'll show you them on here after. I'm going to start putting it on the inner part of the corner and just tapping it on to the mid and I don't really need more but again I'm addicted to doing two dips I couldn't do the one dip challenge just because honestly I'd probably lose my damn mind so I'm going to take it from the middle I mean from the inner corner to the middle I'm going to flip it over hold on I have a cat hair fuzzy somewhere on me I feel it there we go and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use a slightly darker shade I'm going to use the shade called Haley which is like a reddish bronze, a copper bronze. I'm going to go from the middle to the end. And as you see, it kind of meets in with the shade we used in the crease dish as a similar shade, and it deepens it a bit. I want something a little simpler today. And you know what? I have another one here. It's a little on the fluff fluff side. Not really there at the shape I'm looking for. What's the shape I'm looking for? Yes. Okay, so it's a pencil brush, but it's a little thicker. And it's from the set I was using the powder brush from. And this, I am actually going to do it in reverse. I am going to um, dip this in dish and change over my crease brush from this guy to this guy because then I'm going to use the skinny guy in the shade that's a little darker called bittersweet just to get a little definition but before that I just kind of want to go over what I have so far where I can take it out see so now this is going to transition to bittersweet which is a darker chocolate you'll see to make that bronze shimmer in that outer corner pop a little. And I do a combination of the windshield wiper and the little circles. So, you know, what it feels right to you. So that's pretty much going to be the shape I'm looking for. Now, for this creasy area, I'm going to take this fluffy guy. He's the angled one. And I'm going to put him... What am I going to dip him in? I'm going to dip him in Delia which is this peachy shade. And I'm going to just kind of brush him up and under just to kind of give a little definition without too much shimmer. And that's how we're going to do it. Okay. And I'll come back and do the inner corner with my actual highlighter because I think I'm going to just use my Sephora Golden Hour uh, highlighter, which is in the shade Dawn. I'm going to use it when I do my blush and I'm going to do it in the inner corner. So let me go ahead and come back when the other eye is good. Okay, so I'm back. I've done both eyes, as you can tell. So now, just to make my life easier, I'm going to just throw on my brow gel because my brows look kind of naked compared. And uh, I'm going to start in the corner because that's usually where you want it to be the darkest anyway. And if I kind of get the excess product off there and drag it, it should be fine. Hopefully you're finding this day relaxing. I had to work and um, I'm hoping that by the time I get to the event tonight, it will be the beginning of my relaxation. It's been a very stressful week. And again, what I could do just to make sure everything is even throughout my brows is take a clean brow spoolie and just run it through. 
which I might do. It looks like it's going on a little unevenly today, like right there. Or I could just drag it through that way. We'll see. <gasps> yeah, piece of fuzz. I hate fuzzies. Okay, so let's get that naked brow spoolie as I drop a sponge. Oops. So here's the one I got from uh, Moda Royal Lang Nickel. Just combing through. before the brow gel finishes setting and combing through. There we go. So now the brows are done. Boom. Okay, I wanna do the bottom part of my um, eyeshadow look. I'm just gonna, I don't think that I actually had any fallout, which is good. Yeah, that's why I like the Carity palettes. They're really worth the money. But to be safe, I always brush it off anyway. I like these warm kind of fall colors. I'm gonna use one of my Urban Decay knockoffs. This is the Sephora Collection Flashy Liner Waterproof Gel Liner Crayons. And this one is in, I don't even think they make these anymore, but this is in Flashy Copper, shade 07. I'm just going to run it on the underside and then I'll try and run a little in the, you know what? No, I don't feel like putting makeup on the inside because every time I do, no matter how waterproof it's supposed to be, with the exception of the, uh, Kat Von D, KVD Vegan Beauty thing, which worked wonderful in one eye, and then on the other eye, I think I either put too much in or I didn't um, let it dry enough, but you get the point. Yeah, so you understand. I'm not going there today. All right, so I put that there, and now I'm going to use one of my pencil brushes, probably the skinnier one, and I'm going to dip it in a little bit of the shades so you can see them again. The shades I used. Dish is the bigger crease color. Bittersweet is the outer corner. Um, the inner uh, metallic portion is this shade right here called Morning. And then this shade here called Haley is the outer corner of the metallic. And then Dune over here is my transition shade. Delia is under my brows. And what was the other color? Dune, Delia... Hey, I'm sorry, Haley, Morning, and then Dish and Bittersweet, yes. So I'm going to try and fart about. I'm going to probably put a little bit of Haley down there, but I'm also going to put a little bit of Bittersweet just because I want it to be a little deeper. So let me start with Bittersweet, which is that nice darker brown in the corner, and just run it just to make it kind of stand out a little bit. And that's why I love these pencil liner uh, type brushes because you can do eyeliner with them and you can also do crease work. I'm going to take the fatter one and I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in Haley. And I'm just going to run it right there as well because Haley's like a reddish copper bronze. And I just really want that smokiness without a lot of darkness because I think that'll help. Okay. So that's it for under eye shadow. We'll do this inner corner, like I said, with actual highlighter because it's in the same color family. And I want to showcase that product. So now I'm going to try and do one eye of eyeliner because this pen is on its last legs. I don't know if I have enough juice to do the whole eye, but if not, we will finish it, like I said, with the Milani. But if I can get the whole thing done with this, that's awesome. So I'm going to close my eye and I'm going to go right along the lash line as best I can. And also, I'm going to open the eye and just kind of get that little corner so I can go up. But really, I'm going to look up at an angle so I can try and keep my eyelid as smooth as I can to get the inner corner. Because I honestly like the texture of this liner better than the one of the Milani. But again, that's an older Milani formula from like 04. So, you know, things have changed since then. It was awesome when I used to use it, but now I'm like, you know what? Change is good. And I'm going to probably just leave it with a double cat tail because reasons. So there you go. See? Double eyeliner. 
So if you don't get it perfect, fix it up the way you want. And it's starting to get dry again. So now I have to beat the hell out of it. But that's not the point. I will do the other eye and come back. Because now you've seen how this one works. Let me do the second eye. I'm not going to bronze because, again, I'm going to be covered from here up. I might bronze a little around here, but we'll see. Um, the blush I plan on using today is American Beauty Rose, which has a slight shimmer to it, by Milani. Because I can. So why not? I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did my liner. I got a little bit in the corner over here running where I don't want it. So before it becomes a major catastrophe, just drop more crap, Montalvo. I mean, really. Sorry, I talked to myself like that. Now you all know my last name. Oops. And I'm just going to try and clean it up. Because, you know, it's also running inside my freaking eyeball. Again, this is how you fix stuff. <sighs> Can't be a friggin' day without destroying something, can it? Because God forbid... I can actually get my eyeliner to do exactly what I want it to do. Well, this is as good as it's going to get. I will probably need to put more powder there. I, I don't know. Whatever. All right, I'm going to curl lashes and I'm going to throw on mascara because ain't nobody got time for that. And you know what? Again, I'm not the star of the show. I'm just an attendant. It's kind of like when you go into a wedding. You want to look nice, but you're not the bride. So in the end, you do you, homegirl. I'm using one of my um, various lash curlers. This one is my um, Revlon one. Try and capture my lashes as best I can because eyelash shape. I mean eyeball shape. And pulse it and walk it down your lashes. I'm not using any sort of primer today because ain't nobody got time for that. Now I'm just starting with the conical shape mascara, which is the New Heights. First, I'm putting a little coat on just to get something on to kind of catch the end where the curl is before anything happens. And as you can tell, I have these little lashes right here that never, ever, ever want to go in the lash curler, no matter which one it is. They always sit out at a funky angle. Whatever. Now I can pull it through a little more. And that makes a bigger lash. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and then I'm going to go back in with this one. In the meantime, I seriously have friggin' eyeliner in my eyeball. What the hell? Okay, where's my little... I just had the, the swab. Where'd it go? Thank you and good night. Hashtag clean up much. I might try and drop a little bit of uh, concealer up in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to because that's like gray now. Be careful with your eyeliner because if you have watery eyes like I do, you could screw up a whole look just by doing that. But whatever. I'm not pissed. Not at all. All right. This has been sitting long enough. I'm going to take my bold ambition volumizing and conditioning mascara and do a second coat. Really trying to comb it up and through. So I do have long lashes in here somewhere sometimes. Well, hot diggity. Who knew? They hide. They are downturned, so they hide. Look at those little lashes. You can kind of see them. And I didn't even put crazy eyeliner on. I just put a little bit on. But I digress. So I'm going to do my other eye. I'm going to try and dab a little something in there. I might come back and show you how I fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my mascara on. I used the, um, the New Heights to just brush some on the bottom. Because I figured between that and the bronzy shadow, it was enough definition for the bottom. Now I'm going to try and do my inner corner with a lip brush from the same set. And my... Sephora Collection Highlighter in the shade Dawn. I'm just going to brush some on, and I'm going to try and use that. I put a little bit of banana powder there to cover up all this darkness and give me some inner corner oomph. I might also run a little tiny bit under 
the peak of the brow, but I haven't decided yet. It's early on in the game. I'm just trying to blend that in a little bit. And as you can tell, see, so basically I get into trouble when I try and do the Arabic eyeliner, which my eyes like the shape, but because I'm a contact lens wearer and they get so watery, that doesn't like it. So yeah. So here we go. Trying to work with what nature gave me for these inner corners and just kind of blend them out. Might be blending too high up. Who knows? I don't know today. I started out confident, but whatever. So there we go. A little bit of glow. And yeah, you know what? Let's go crazy. It's going to run this right under here. So you can see just a little hint. Now I know I had had that nice matte shade Delia there, but I didn't cover all of Delia, just a little bit. Just enough to define that shape. Only in that little corner. Okay, so now that we're done with eyes, let's get back to face. I'm going to try and see if this matte, oh, Ulta Beauty Natural Glow Matte Bronzer in the shade Tan, which I think I got for like a buck. I'm going to see if maybe I can work with it just a wee bit. Get a bronzer brush up out of here. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's use this. I have my little Tweezer Man Travel Size Contour Brush. I'm just going to dab it very lightly. And I'm just going to brush it sideways just to get a little bit of definition. It's really more important for the tops of my forehead. So I did a line and then I circled. This is because I have a five head, actually a six head. Dab, line, circle. Now this forehead was very popular in medieval England and Europe. Not so popular nowadays. I'm going to put a little tiny dab right through there and towards the, the temple. Now I'm just going to blend. I will take my, this is the world's worst hair turban. It doesn't absorb for poop. So when I take my hair down, it's going to be just as soaking wet as when I put it up an hour ago. But you get the idea. So I've done little circles, just enough to kind of make it look like maybe, just maybe my head isn't quite that large. And I'll kind of do that here. With what's left on the brush. Just running it down the sides of the face. I don't want to rub too much because we know I have concealer through here for zits. There's really not much left on the brush, so I'm going to do one really light dab. I'm going to try and run it under my giant chin. Just try and give a little bit of definition since I look very well fed lately. I'll just leave it at that. Take it through my fuzzies. See, the problem is I had a pixie cut once and they buzzed all this. So ever since then, now it's visible. Now I could continue to buzz it and feel like a dude, but you know what? I don't really feel like it. So I'm fuzzy. Deal with it. Okay. And that's how we contoured. It's not the best contouring. I've never been a contour queen. I don't pretend to be. There you go. All right. Now blush. I am going to use one of these blush brushes because why the hell not? They gave me one. I might as well. Oh, also, I got my diamond email from Ulta. We'll talk about that a different day because now is definitely not the time. Uh, which blush brush do I feel like using today? You know what? Let's use you. Different one. Yeah, maybe not. You're a little too wide. <sighs> which one do we want to use? trying to check out of here which ones we've got this is a foundation brush this is not what I want this is a powder brush this is it this is the one they all came with these nice brush guards so this is the rounded angle it's not as big of a head as the other ones and I'm going to swirl on my little rose actually I'm going to dab and tap just to get a little bit and if you want your face to look symmetrical, I mean, it's all according to face shape. For my face shape, which is kind of a long oval, 
I concentrate more of the blush at the back and bring it down. So plop it there, swirl, and then drag down. And that's what I'm going to do with the other side. Plop it there, swirl, and then drag down. There we go. So blush is done. Yay. So now for actual highlight, I am going to try, where'd that brush go? Where'd you go? I just had you. Oh, you're all the way over there. Forget you. Um, you know what? Let's do a, one that I know I love and get a lot of use out of. One of my AOA highlighter brushes. Oh, oh. Are we not clean? Let me get another one. Okay, this guy. I have four of them because I love them so much and they were a buck a piece. So I'm going to swirl it in the same highlighter as before that we used on the inner corner. And now we're going to highlight. I'm going to avoid the middle here. I know a lot of people do that half moon thing just because A, I get oily and B, I got some texture going on there right now. So I'm just going to do a little bit over the eyebrow. I should still have enough to do it on this side too. And then I'm going to Two right here by the eye. I'm going to put it on heavy, er, than normal, and then I'm going to blend it. Circles, circles, circles. Oh, that doesn't actually have as much. Circles. And then I'm going to put it right here because there's no texture here. And right at the beginning here. I'm not going to mess with the tip of the nose much because it's going to be covered most times. So that will be my new tip of the nose because you got to figure my mask is going to come up like such and cover. So this is what we're going for right here. So now that we're all made up, I've, before I do any lips or lashes, I am going to spray the heebie-jeebies out of myself. Yes, that is a term. The holy bejesus, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to spray the Holy Bejesus out of myself with one of the sprays I really do enjoy. And I think it works really well. It's my Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. I have the big bottle. I also have like three minis. Why? Because I do. I didn't plan it that way. It just worked out that way. So. I can't say I like the spray on the minis. Uh, either that or it's getting clogged. I don't, I don't know. I just want something that does a fine mist without being an aerosol. Is that at all possible? Oh, it's because this thing is empty. Oh, oops. I gotta put him with my uh, dead stuff. Okay, let's try again. Do we have anything else that we could possibly kind of sort of use that won't like spray white stuff all over us? Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. I'm trying to kill him anyway. Let's shake him up. Do a test spray. Yeah, he's good. I did my test spray in the garbage can, in case you cared. Oh, much better. Much finer mist. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. And, bonus, I never even had to use my Milani stuff for my eyes, my eyeliner. So I'm feeling kind of good there folding fan. I have a little electric one, but this one just makes me feel like I have more control. So that's a close-up on the eyes before we add lashes. Slight double cat flick. More evident on this side than that side, but you know what? Time Tempest Fugit, baby. I gotta get my budding gear. So I'm gonna do some lips real fast. And then I gotta go throw on my jeans. Yes, I'm sitting here in a pair of lounge shorts with my tank top. Oh, I forgot to near my lip. I have a fuzzy lip. Guess what? Okay. There you go. I am brutally honest, especially with myself. Now in the past, that inner voice that would say that would say something like, oh my God, it's so horrible. Not anymore. You know how they say, love yourself warts and all? There you go. I just broke the tip. 
that pisses me off. Now I have to swirl this little mofo and see if he has anything else in there. Hey, look, he was part of a bag. I can't really complain, right? Please come up. I broke the whole damn tip. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why does this always happen when you're in a friggin' rush? Maybe I'll face it down, see if it pops out faster. Are you finally moving? No, you're not moving. How is this supposed to work? Is there even any product in there? I'm so disappointed. I was literally swirling the bottom tip, which is supposed to be a... I, I, you know what? We're done with lip liner. We don't need no Fargan lip liner. See, again, this is how you solve your problems. I'm going to use the edge of this. Life sucks. Modern woman, I'm going to get over it. I have a nice doe foot applicator, so... They don't match exactly anyway, so who cares? Again, the key as little as possible. Less on, less off. I'm only trying to even it out because it's smudged. Can you tell I didn't have lip liner on both? Didn't think so. So I'll wait for that to dry. I have to find where the little tip fell so I don't step in it. I don't have my socks on yet. I don't fancy having lip liner on my toes. That's gross. This might be dead. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try and prep my lashes real fast with some lash glue. I didn't get all the lash glue off last time I wore these. Oh, well, these are a synthetic lash. I'm going to do my usual where I kind of bend them like this. And now I'm going to brush some glue on. And then I normally set my phone to, um, oh, yeah, this glue is half dry. Better to use it now before I uh, completely have it dry out on me, right? But if I wasn't making a video, I would have my phone stopwatch on the clock set. So that way it would tell me when a minute had passed and I could plop this puppy on. So I don't have it on because I have you guys. So what I'm going to do instead is take this time to slather up both of them. Because by the time I'm done with that, we should be okay. Let me do this. Just to make sure it's still flexible enough. You don't normally need to do it every time, but I haven't worn these in a while, and I was afraid that they had formed too much to the shape of the holder and not enough for my personal eye shape. And I feel like if you have not worn them in a while, you might want to still do that. Better to be safe than sorry. Closing up one-handed. I normally do these freehand, but you know what? Time is... Tempest Fugit. Time is flying. So I am going to actually use my little Sephora lash tweezers with the rubber tip. They sell this thing separately, but I got mine as part of a set for some lashes they used to make, which are kind of crappy. I'm glad they're gone, but I basically bought it for this. This has a rubber tip to help press. And we're good to go. Holding my mirror at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to plop this puppy kind of in the middle, as close to my lash line as I can use this to rearrange them. And now I'm going to go in here in between and try and pinch them together. And there we go, lashes. So I'm just going to throw the other lash on. And then while I'm throwing the other lash on, I want to thank you all for watching me today. If I get any stills from this I, uh, event, I will put them on my Instagram. So please be sure to follow me on my other social media if you're interested in seeing still shots. Oh, I have to wipe this before I do the pen show. So I'm going to end up with glue where I don't need it. Mental note to self, I always keep paper towels around. 
at my vanity to kind of clean up little pieces here and there as I go. So, but yeah, so I have Twitter. I'm not that active on it, but I have it. And um, I usually try and share my stills there. I have Instagram. Let me go in between and pinch these suckers together. There we go. And here we go. All done. All done. So now all I really need to do is take this mop down. Soaking wet hair. And go get dressed. So you have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. And uh, I will catch you next time. Thank you for watching this warm makeup look. And um, maybe you'll get ready with me again another day. Maybe I'll learn to do this in under an hour. Okay, so this is just a little addendum. Just so you know, I've already worn my mask and this is just a checkup to show everything's pretty much stayed put. I mean, you could see I have something there, but it is covered. It's not as dark as it was. And my blush is still somewhat there. Obviously this part of the face wasn't affected by the mask, but transfer resistant Maybelline lip ink doing its Maybelline lip ink job, which is amazing because I had pasta for dinner, which had, I didn't have any salad, but it was a um, Fra Diablo sauce. So it was very light. And um, yeah, you know, I could feel and taste the olive oil, but that's pretty much it. I mean, my lashes stayed put as much as they could. I mean, they, and I still have makeup on. I don't have a smudged off face. So I have to say, I highly recommend the um, the double wear. Um, I'm really pleased with it. And I think it didn't oxidize on me or anything. I mean, it's already like 9.30 and it seems like it's still my skin color. No real mask line, right? So there you go, a little bonus for you. Other than that, thanks for watching. I mean, yeah, I'm shiny, but I'm gonna be shiny. It's just me, I'm, you know combination oily is what it is so yeah catch you next video thanks for hanging out and thanks for caring about this being put on my face so you can maybe kind of sort of do the same for yours